welcome back to my channel and today I wanted to share some of my cumulative purchases that I had made and some of these are from end of April to like last week so it's a collection of items that I had picked up over the last couple months and I'm going to start with a couple things that I got that did not work out for me but I wanted to mention them nonetheless. The first ones are a pair of shoes that I had had my eye on and it is the Nicholas Kirkwood Bea loafers and they are so beautiful and I ordered them and they were like the leather is stunning on them and they're so made well made and I love the gold detail on the heel however they were horribly uncomfortable to me and I know that they are some of the most comfortable shoes and I've read like reviews on them and people love them but I have like problems with my bone on my right foot and when I put them on for like probably 20 seconds just to try them on my foot started hurting so bad that it was hurting for like the next 15 minutes so i had to return them because there's no way i could have worn them but they're so beautiful and i love them so much like the look of them and they get wonderful reviews so if they work for you lucky you the other two pairs of shoes are salvatore ferragamos and i picked them up because i heard great things again and that they were really comfortable so the first pair was a pair of sandals and they were so beautiful and so well made and they were so incredibly comfortable however they arrived damaged to me and by the time I received them and could have placed another order for them they were already sold out so I couldn't do that and the other pair that I got the other Ferragamos were uh, also very comfortable and so beautiful but they were a size too small and so the same thing they were sold out and i couldn't repurchase them and it's very unfortunate because they were actually extremely comfortable shoes to put on so i will definitely be looking for another pair of ferragamo shoes hopefully in the not so distant future okay the things that i did end up keeping well yeah pretty much so the first thing that i had got probably mid-April, towards the end of April, is this Louis Vuitton item, and I have used this already. Got this from the online store, and it came in this box with no ribbon or anything, and inside it came wrapped in tissue paper, but I just have to, to put it back in the dust bag, and it came with the tissue paper and the card and stuff, and this is, ooh, let's put this away, this, can you guess what it is? It is the toilet tree 26 and i have actually used this when we went to vancouver in may and it was so amazing i love it and i would always wanted a louis vuitton toiletry pouch and tra like travel accessories i love the travel accessories and the monogram canvas i think it's so like old feeling you know like from a another time kind of and i never could justify buying a toiletry item because although I travel probably like two times a year on vacation I didn't think that was often enough to warrant getting something to travel with but I finally made the plunge because I've been traveling a lot more frequently lately so and we do have several things planned in like the really soon close future so I thought that it was finally time to try it out and this thing is so hard to find it was sold out everywhere the store didn't have it or anything and then one time I just was online and it was available and I clicked buy and it was there and I don't know if it's available now or not but it was like a one-off from when I was searching for it and I feel like I got really lucky with that because they're really hard to find it and maybe they're can't, like discontinuing them I hope not but it was made in France and ugh, I absolutely love it it's one piece of canvas that goes all around I just twirled it in the wrong direction, whatever. Okay, so like, moving on. The next thing I got was for my trip to Vancouver as well. And these are a pair of shoes and I needed shoes because I had only one pair of flats and they are my Jimmy Choo Espadrilles. And so I needed another pair because I was worried that it might be raining because the weather was kind of iffy at whether or not it was gonna rain. It didn't rain, the weather was beautiful, which I mean, I still love rain, don't get me wrong. So that would have been great too for me, but I got these and I don't love the color of them but they're so incredibly comfortable from the moment I put them on they feel like slippers and I'm talking about these um what are these called the Kate Spade Karina Karina Karna I I'll like put the link for them below and they're these loafers and I don't love the color of them but they're so comfortable and I know they have a lot of different color options but frankly I got them the day before like they arrived the day before we were supposed to leave so I didn't really have the option to exchange because I, 
they're like the only shoes that I found that were comfortable for me. And they are full leather, like outsole, insole, and the, well, no, the, uh, the upper, the insole, and the outsole. And they have this really cute gold spade detail for Kate Spade. And they are really comfy and I love them. And yeah, they have served me really well. I've been wearing them ever since. The other pair of shoes that I had purchased for the summertime and I was looking for sandals and I told you about my Ferragamo dilemma with the sandals so I got another pair of sandals and they are by Stuart Weitzman and they look like this and these are called the Samoa sandal in the Kava Napa gold color and they are also full leather insole, outsole, upper, etc, whatever and I have heard really good things about Stuart Weitzman I always keep hearing really good things about the brand but I've never personally ever even tried on a pair of Stuart Weissman heels, like not heels, but shoes. And I got these just out of honestly desperation because I was like, I need something because I don't have like any sandals to wear. And these were on sale. They're retail for $295, but I got them for $220.99, so like $221. And I got them from the Mario's Portland online store, which is like a Mitchell Group store, which is kind of like a luxury curated collection boutique like think Barney's but a lot more scaled down and I picked them up and I love them they are so comfortable from the moment I put them on they have this gorgeous braided detail with this gold chain and they kind of remind me of Greek sandals and I think these would be so cute to wear in the summertime even for dressy occasions like if you have you know weddings to go to or parties or something on the beach and you don't want to wear heels not to the beach but to like the weddings and stuff I think these are appropriate enough where you can wear them. The only thing that kind of I wish was a little different is like right here it has this like slippery gold, what is that thing called? The sole, this part of where the toes are, I guess for the look to match the braiding, but it is very, very slippery and I hope that it will wear in with time, where like when your toes will wear it in because this part of the insole is very like firm, your foot doesn't slip off, but this is incredibly slippery. Oh, I'm, saying, I'm exaggerating. It's not that slippery, but it's like enough to feel it. So I hope that it will wear in and it will be good. But these are my new sandals and I'm very, very excited to have them. Okay, let's do clothes. The next thing I got was for the summertime and it is this pair of bikini bottoms. And this is what they look like. They have this like tropical pattern design with the plumerias and the palm leaves. And palm leaves are like my favorite pattern of things. Have this gold thingies on the sides and... I really like um, bikini bottoms that don't tie on the side. I hate the ones that tie because they're so uncomfortable and they always leave like that knot on your skin and then if you try to put on shorts or something over it, it's so uncomfortable. It just like squeezes it in. I really hate it. And these are from Topshop and they were uh, 14 pounds, $26. Yeah, $26. I will link the link for everything that I can find below. That is an orange term and I think they're so cute. And I got on several pairs of Topshop bottoms, but they all fit like completely different. And these are the only ones that fit like good, I guess. So I kept them. Okay, the next item is, well, are these shorts from Loft. And they're called the Bali short, which is kind of funny because they kind of look like it. And these were, they're made in India. They are $50. I definitely didn't pay $50 for them because Loft is always running some kind of promotion. So I feel like it's silly to pay full price. I think I paid like $18 or $19. They are linen and cotton blend, which is wonderful. They're so comfortable. They have pockets. They have this really cute trim. These are huge, like absolutely huge. This is a size small. I probably should have went with an extra small, but they're like loose and they look kind of like pajama-y, but not in a like you're wearing pajamas kind of way just like very comfy and casual so i wear them like really low on my hips and this is a drawstring so you can't tie it up and oopsie so yeah like little shorties like this which i think are really cute and that's all i have to say for them i suppose okay the next thing is this dress and the moment i saw this dress i fell in love with it i tried it on and it fits so beautifully and i always had okay this is a free people item and i always like free people because it's very bohemian very casual and i love bohemian style but when i found out about free people there's like no way i could afford to buy it and so i never kind of for some reason ever paid attention to it after i could afford it and i was at the store like at nordstrom and i saw this dress and it was so stunning and it fits so beautifully i have actually worn it already and 
this is what it looks like it is called the i brought the tag out here okay it's called the stargazer dress and it is 128 dollars i will leave the link for it below but it is it comes in so many different colors but to be completely honest with you black looks the best on this dress i've seen the coral one the blue one the white one the neutral one like five or six different colors and this one looks the best it has this like embroidery that's what it's called embroidery and it's technically a tunic but i mean i'm like five two when it comes to like an inch above my knee this is what it looks like it's super loose and flowy it is so beautiful i actually wore this um my in-laws hosted a going away party for us because we're moving and uh, i wore this dress there and it was really comfortable because it turned out to be like 90 that day and it was so hot and it was very very cooling and breezy and i really loved it the next item is actually from target and i was in target picking up like what did i pick up at target i can't recall for the life of me but it was something i need oh like like uh, water wipes or something like that i don't know and i saw this thing on sale actually and it was 11.48 and this looks like my blue I have a blue top like this. It has like things, like I mean, a navy has this like blue and green embroidery things. I have it in some of my videos. You can probably see it. And it's like this pinstripe, but it has a detailing to it. And it's so, it's so cute and comfy. I love it. I love that one. I wear it all the time. It's 100% cotton. It is extremely comfortable and cozy, not cozy, but like easy to wear. And so I picked up this one, especially since it's on sale. And it was really like flattering and cute. So I love it. There's that one. Moving on to this top, which is super long. It's, it could be a dress if it didn't have these slits on the sides. And this is by a brand called Nick and Zoe, and it is called the Abyss Dress, and it was $158. And I got it in size small. It is 100% linen, and it has full-length sleeves that kind of flare out a little bit. It's dark navy blue with this pattern, mandarin collar, and like a mother of pearl effect buttons. And you could wear this on the beach as a cover-up or with like shorts just so because I could this for me I could have worn it as a dress if it wasn't for the slits up the thighs, but I when I got this my husband's like it looks kind of boring But like when it's on it just looks so nice It looks like resort wear almost like very chic very like casual elegant I am very excited to wear this. I haven't worn it yet, but I will very soon Okay, the next thing is a scarf and I don't really normally buy scarves like at a store, not at a store, I mean obviously you buy everything at a store, but like I usually prefer to buy uh, like more designer scarves because I really like the quality and because they're so close to your face, like it, you can really like feel the difference I suppose. But I saw this one at Loft and it is 100% cotton and it's technically not a scarf, it's a cover up for like a, for the beach, but I loved the colors. I was so drawn to this pattern it has like the Bali shorts. It has this little pom pom outline on the sides. It was forty dollars, but I think I paid twenty five for it. And it is huge. It is so like pretty. I love it. I actually think it looks kind of cool with this top because it's both blue, but the different patterns is kind of interesting um, graphic to it or whatever. And I was gonna wear it on this as a scarf or as a little beach cover up or like you know you could wear it tight, tight around your neck as a little dress type of thing and that would be a good addition as a summer scarf because well, all my scarves are winter scarves like wool cashmere etc okay the next thing i was looking for a silk top like a silk cami and i didn't find one however i found this which is uh this is rayon and it's also from loft it was 50 dollars, but i bought it for like 24 or something and it is or 25 i don't know whatever and it feels just like silk I mean, obviously it doesn't feel like so, but it's a very lightweight because, you know, like rayon comes in very different types and structures, but this one like has a very like silky feel to it, like a satiny feel to it. And it has metal um, clasps for the adjusters, which I really like. And it's just a basic, it is very like nice on. It's perfect for either wearing on its own or like under a blazer, under a jacket or under a sweater if you need like a layering piece for something and it's just very like body hugging in a flattering kind of way and it's kind of like a basic staple essentially so there's that the next thing is i got this silk isabel moran uh top and i actually got this on ebay pre-owned and i love 
buying things like pre-owned sometimes because you can get some really really like good deals and so for like things that have barely been worn and i got this silk blouse top and it has pockets here it has these like metal clasps and it is just so flattering is what i is one of my all-time favorite designers i everything she makes is just so flattering on the body and i love her like kind of parisian bohemian style because i love like bohemian things probably could tell but yeah it's 100 percent silk and it's very very comfy and i love that like all her things that have a cutout no matter how deep it is it never flails open however it's sewn it just stays and it's so beautiful i love it and lastly the last clothing item is a jean jacket i have been looking for a jean jacket for probably several years if i'm being completely honest but definitely or i've been like looking for one over the past year and i have a very 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 short torso and a lot of jackets not just jean jackets like leather jackets uh blazers etc like dresses that have a corset don't fit me because where your waist is supposed to be my hips are already starting to come out and it doesn't fit if it's awkwardly i look like it like comes up like this and my shoulders are here and i look like this bunched up little square and it's like ridiculous and i saw this and i was like i might as well try it on like they never fit but you know why not and it fit and it looks so nice it's so flattering it is by a brand called treasure and bond which i've never heard of before but i got it at nordstrom and now i see that they have a whole section there and this is cotton and it's like this blue jean distressed jacket and it is so flattering it's like kind of boxy oversized i did get a small just so it would be like more looser as opposed to the extra small and it looks like this and i love having the collar up on it and this is what the back looks like and it is so flattering and comfortable i absolutely love this jacket i can't believe like how lucky I got to finally find a denim jacket and I mean that's just a staple I think in my opinion okay then the other the next thing is a jewelry item and it's kind of in two parts and I'm wearing it right now it always gets tangled with the like whatever other necklace I'm wearing let me take it off actually just so I can show you better Whew, okay and it is this gold necklace I think it's 14 karat yeah 14 karat gold and it is like this really beautiful gold chain that sparkles like I don't know like stars like sparkling twinkling lights I don't know it's so pretty the way it catches the light and I got this in the 22 inch I should have went for 24 inches because I thought okay I wanted to get a pendant for it and I was gonna get a palm tree pendant and I ordered it but it was like horrible quality so I returned it and I wanted I was like okay I wanted to lie pretty low because I kind of wear like pretty low cut tops usually and um I wanted to lie pretty low but you could see if I could like kind of not see it and it this doesn't lie as low as I thought it would because I guess my tops are a lot more low cut than I had realized so it's not enough to kind of hide it I guess so I went should have went for 24 but I still love it it's so pretty it's an Italian chain and this is a little rose gold sunflower seed and this is the second part of the necklace and this has a really funny story actually okay so my mom loves sunflower seeds she eats like bags upon bags upon bags upon bags of sunflower seeds like i've never seen any person consume that much sunflower seeds in my life as much as she eats and so she gets her sunflower seeds the ones that are imported from russia and so she gets them at you know the local russian store whatever and so they were having like a I guess like a Willy Wonka type of thing where they put like 14 karat rose gold sunflower seeds into I don't know x amount of bags let's say like 50 bags of sunflower seeds and whoever got it like you know like a Cracker Jack prize basically and of all the people in all the world in all the places my mom got the package that had the sunflower seed which I feel is so hilariously ironic because she eats so many of them that like I mean, they got like manufactured like in Russia. They got packaged. I mean, of all the packages that were shipped all across the world, she got the one that was shipped to Portland. And if, there's like a ton. There's probably like over 50 Russian stores in the Portland metro area. She got the one that was in that store in that specific time. You know, it's like, the, what are the odds, right? And like for her to actually be able to get the gold sunflower seed, which I think is really funny. 
she hates necklaces and she doesn't wear necklaces so she gave it to me and I wear it because I think it's like a cool story it's sentimental and it's kind of different like I mean nobody walks around with a sunflower seed on their like around their neck you know so yeah that's my necklace and last but not least is a new wallet I picked up and I know I've had like like a wallet after wallet after wallet after wallet videos basically and I have four different ones now I have the Patek Benedetta coin case I have the Louis Vuitton clay and I have the Kate Spade card case and I know they're like not actually all wallets but this is the other one I got and this isn't the, like a legitimate wallet either it's part of a wallet actually and what I'm talking about is the Louis Vuitton coin pouch for the Josephine wallet the insert that goes into into the change oh I have to sneeze excuse me okay I think it's past now and this is from 2011 I got this on eBay actually and I got it for $150 it has the red pull tab because it's from fairly old collect collection of the Josephine wallets and they've like re vamped them like several times since then but it is actually i think that's good that i got an older one because the canvas is really really nice it's really malleable but thick and the glazing is perfect on it it does have a little bit of tarnishing on the zipper pull but whatever it opens very smoothly and right now i just have a few cards in there receipt for me to get out and it is leather lined inside and the leather is so soft i was expecting the cross-grained leather that the clay has but this leather is incredibly smooth and this does have um a little bit of puckering right here i hope you can see that and these coin inserts are very famous for having that issue but I feel like since it's leather, I mean, it's not that big a deal. And I mean, I honestly don't know if Louis Vuitton would replace it because this is a, like a spare part for an item they have, which I don't own. I've never purchased a Josephine wallet. So uh, if they ever looked me up, I wouldn't be in the system, but I don't know how they determine their like, repair terms and whatever for every customer. So they may or they may not, you know, provide me a spare part for this coin insert thing of a jibby but i love this i fit so much i had like i was selling because we're moving and I, we decided instead of taking our furniture or storing it or taking it with us or anything we decided to actually sell it and start over so we have sold like pretty much all our furniture except that screen that you see in the back because i love it and i think i'm going to keep that one and so i'm not selling it and we did sell everything off so i kept putting cash in here i was using the app offer up for the first time and it works great like seriously like within three days everything in our entire apartment is gone and it's right now really empty maybe that's why i don't know how the acoustics are but it's extremely echoey in here because it is legitimately entirely empty and i'm sitting on the bathroom rug right now because we don't even have the rug i had anymore because i sold that off too and so I had so much cash in here from like everyone like you know paying with cash that like it was like bulging out it was really really i mean i wish i could have shown you that i should take a picture or something it's still closed it fits so many items in here it's very roomy and i'm so happy with it i don't know why but like every time i would see it on someone's video part of the josephine wallet and i don't like that construction of the wallet because it like folds out and i don't like trifold style wallets but this coin insert always caught my attention because i felt like it would be so practical and so easy and friendly to use and i know i'm like every video is like it's so easy to use it's so user friendly but like i guess i'm really into convenience of items so i finally decided to try and look it up online to purchase and i had gotten this one from i, I meant as i mentioned ebay for 150 dollars with free express shipping and it turned out to be in excellent condition and i absolutely love it and i'm so so happy that i have it and i am not planning to get rid of any of the other wallets that i have or card cases or whatever that i have and i still love all of them but i just wanted to try something different because every time i would see it i'd be like that seems like a really good wallet like i want that so i decided to get it and that is a wrap that is everything and this is going to be probably my last video filmed in this apartment so 
Thank you for sharing this entire year with me here and I'm very excited to take you to my new place. Um, I don't think I've told you where I'm going so I will do a surprise when I get there like where I am I guess or yeah I don't know but I'm moving on Sunday today is Tuesday that I'm filming I'm moving on Sunday so in five days and I'm so excited I could not be more thrilled so yeah it's my last video here I hope you enjoy and thank you so much for watching as always let me know if you have any questions or comments or especially video suggestions and have a wonderful day bye